getting ready to take a walk with Cotton. Got his little you know what bag. With on my husband. It's nice out here. It's kind of uh, it's warm but it has a little breeze and it's kind of just a little bit of um, mugginess in the air. Not a lot. Not muggy. Just kind of not damp. Anyway, it just feels really nice. It's not hot. Um, which I like it hot, but it's not hot. Ooh, I don't have any earrings. I washed my hair today. Used something I hadn't used in a while. So I didn't stretch or anything. I just got from under the dryer and I left it like this because it was still a tad bit wet here and here, which is always the case. So I said I'll just let that part air dry. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, I'm not going to stretch it tonight. I'll do that in tomorrow, but I'll just, you know, pull it back like I do, put it in my sleep cap or my bonnet or whatever, and then tomorrow I'll stretch it and let it out. I'll let you guys see it tomorrow, but I'm liking the fluffy, the clumped curls. It's soft. There's no crunch whatsoever, so that's always a plus. Come on. Um. Anyway, waiting on him again. Hopefully this video is not blurry because my phone is dirty anyway yeah so just wanted to say that trying to get a vlog some vlogging back together got a busy weekend of course it's almost graduation time so there's open houses to go to AJ's open house is next week um, so kind of on edge about that not on edge but kind of anxious because i don't know how many people's coming hopefully i'm having enough food you know people don't like to rsvp so we'll see um but anyway i'm excited for him he'll be graduating pretty soon are my glasses dirty too man anyway we'll see now my husband is in the car what is he doing in the car that man anyway but that's it guys so we're just gonna take you along on our walk and that's it. Get us a little exercise in. Look at Kyle. He's glad to be out getting some exercise, which he needs his little chunky self. <laughs> Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. Dogs are. I gotta stop at every pole. Come on, poo poo. Something about you I like. About you I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you. Something about you I like. About you I like. I get you. enough about us just wanted to let y'all see that it's actually finally nice in Indy and not cold and rainy and snowy as usual okay guys I just wanted to get on here real quick because we are getting ready to go to an open house but I was loving my hair. So I wanted to get on and show you guys my hair. I did not film this hair and now I am regretting it. I'm regretting it, I'm regretting it, but that's okay. I am going to tell you what I used. So basically I shampooed my hair with the, um, she sent it Royal Honey and Argon shampoo. This is actually the leave-in milk because the shampoo's downstairs. I just got this out so I can read the name. But it was the shampoo to that line of She Sent It. I also used the conditioner from that line. Now I will say 
that when I used the shampoo this time, I still liked it. I think I said I liked it in the previous video. I liked it. Um, and I will say that I believe this time my hair felt a little bit more clean than the last time. The last time it felt clean, I believe I said it was on the verge of the squeak feel um, when I did my second wash. I believe that's what I said. Um, I need to go back and look at the video, but I'm sure that that's what I said. This time it was on the verge of the squeak feet squeak feel the very first time I washed um, the very first wash I did and I think a lot of that has to do with what I had in my hair previously so my hair was not very wet at I mean very dirty at all so it didn't take as much to clean it so I got that squeaky feeling a little bit earlier now did it feel stripped stripped like some stripping shampoos no but it does have that squeaky feel so if you are looking for a shampoo that gives you that clean feeling um but still doesn't like strip your hair and gives you a nice lather and everything then that she sent this shampoo is probably for you um at first i thought i was going to add it to my favorites list but i don't think that i am not because it's not good but only because i still think that there's another one that I like better. But that's a good shampoo. It's clean, um, very, you know, squeaky feeling, um, but not real tangly, and still gives you some hydration to your hair. So your hair doesn't feel dry and brittle and just like straw. It feels hydrated, even though it feels squeaky on the outside. So I do want to let you know that. But then I went in with that conditioner from that line, the deep conditioner, and that deep conditioner has so much slip. Now I love the deep conditioner. It got those few little tangles out and everything. So that is what I use to um, condition, wash and condition my hair. Then I went in with the, to style it, I went in with the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. Remember just recently in my stash videos, I had this turned upside down and it was still in my stash that I wanted to get it used up. I finally, I said, you know what, let me just grab this. I'm gonna use this today. So I used it. So now you will see this in my empties, but I, but I put this on as my leave-in and guys, it was only a little bit. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna have enough. So I took my Agile leave-in down there as well to use it um, in case I ran out of this. I did not run out of this. This stuff is so good. I know a lot of you don't like Shea Moisture, don't rock with Shea Moisture and that is fine. You do what you have to do. But this was the line that I used um, when I first did my big chop and for um, a good part of my hair journey when my hair was really short and everything before I got into actually filming videos and everything, I used to use this line. I love this line along with another Shea Moisture line, but I love this one as the most. And I remember people used to always say, your hair smells so good, your hair smells so good. And it was this. Um, I got away from Shea Moisture for a while because I started trying other things, which is fine. Not because I didn't like it, just because I started trying other things and started liking other things. But when they circled back around and asked me to, um, they wanted to sponsor a video, I said sure, and they sent me the line again. Now, if you remember in that video, that particular um, conditioner was a little bit different than this one. This one is more white. That one they sent me had more of a yellow color. And I mentioned that in the video. And I said that I'm not sure why the color is off, but even in that video, that conditioner worked well too. So I do want to let you know that. But I like this conditioner. It um, softens the hair. It just melts into the hair really nicely. It goes through your tangles. It spreads really good. And so that little bit that I had here was able to um, moisturize my whole entire head. So that was great. After I put this in, I went in with the Main Choice Cheers Gelato. You guys know that I tried this a couple times on my channel based on some subscriber combos. They turned out nice. Um, and I wanted to revisit it. I wanted to do a wash and go. I knew that this weekend I was gonna be busy doing some things and I wanted to uh, have a wash and go that I knew would 
uh, give me a little bit of fluff on the first day and things of that sort. So I opted for this and it did not disappoint. So this is what is in my hair, the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Conditioner, which is not, it's a, actually a rinse out conditioner, but I used it as a leave-in. I believe somewhere it says you can use this as a leave-in, either on their site or something. But anyway, I use it as a leave-in and I topped it with this. They paired perfectly well together. Didn't have a whole lot of white sitting on my hair or anything. They dried fine together. Now I have stretched my hair and I actually did stretch it with heat today a little bit. But my hair um, still has a lot of curl definition. It is soft, it is bouncy, it is moisturized and I like it. It was um, shinier than it is now. I think once I applied the heat, it kind of got rid of a lot of the shine. My hair is nicely clumped. Um, but anyway, I just like it. I think it looks good. I think it feels good. So these are a good combination if you were wondering. This also paired well, like I said, with the Agile Beauty and it also pairs well with the as I am leave-in from their original line. So those are um, three different leave-ins that I used this jello, this gelato with and it worked. So guys, yeah, this is it. So I just kind of wanted to show you my hair today before we run out real, real quick to this open house. I also put on my big earrings because I'm wearing my shirt. I think I showed you guys this shirt in a Target haul with my little natural lady on it. So I put on my big earrings today. I don't know if I'm gonna still wear them or not. I might, I might not, but I have my gold hoops just in case I wanna change. But right now, I think they look cute. If you're interested in where I got these, I got these from TonyDaily.com, black YouTuber and entrepreneur out of Canada. Very reasonable. Go to TonyDaily.com. She has a lot of earrings and other accessories on her site. These are handmade by her. So shout out to Tony Daily. Um, like I said, this shirt is from Target. I'll try to link this shirt if I can. I don't know if Star Target still has it or not. I think I did this haul a little ways uh, during around Black Friday. Not Black Friday. <laughs> Black Friday. I did this haul around Black History Month um, in February. So I don't know if they still have it or not. But I will try to link it if they do. If not. Target always has some type of black history type stuff, you know, um, t-shirts that you can pick up. So just go and look on their site. Guys, I do wanna say if I link something um, down below, um, just for your information, if you click the link, it does help out my channel. I will get a small, small, small commission if you click the link and you purchase from the link. If you just click, click the link, look around, click off, don't really purchase anything, um, and then click a, somebody else's link and purchase or go to target.com on your own and purchase, I don't get the credit for it. That may be what you want, that may not be what you want. I don't know, I'm just giving you the information. Um, so to help me out, if you wanna see more hauls, if you wanna see more product reviews and things like that, when I link something, please try to use my link if you can, just to help me out. And that little bit of a commission is cents on the dollars, hardly nothing, but every little bit counts. And that allows me to be able to go and purchase other products to be able to bring the new and upcoming things to you. So just wanna let you know that in case you were wondering. Um, also, while I'm on here, let me say this too, uh, because a lot of you have been wanting to know what my lip colors are and things like that. So I'm gonna try to start linking it in the description box as well, but I wanna go ahead and mention it here too in case I forget. So that way when I'm editing, <laughs> I've said it in the video and then I can still link it. So, cause I'm not gonna remember by the time I get to editing it. So basically on my lips is the NYX lip liner in the shade Los Angeles. And I don't know if you guys can read that or, or not. But anyway, it's in the shade Los Angeles. And then my lip color is the Milani lip color. And I believe this is her matte lip color. I believe it's Milani matte lip color in the shade Secret. It's number 430. Secret in the shade 
4.30. So it looks like this. It is a matte as well. It is a pink nude or whatever. Anyway, I was trying to go towards some more nude colors. This spring is summer, so I wanted a little bit lighter colors versus the real dark colors like for fall or whatever. Anyway, I like it. It looks natural. Um, you can put on a darker lip liner to make it a little, little bit more darker. You can definitely put on um, some gloss to give it a little bit of shine, and I may do that uh, a little bit later today. But anyway, so I do want to let you know that. So I'll be putting this in my purse, carrying it with me. I did pick up a lot of stuff from Milani. I don't know if I showed you guys that or not. Let me go ahead and do that. Not a lot of stuff, but they were having a sale not too long ago, and so I picked up some items. Um, so like I said, I picked up this Milani shade that I just told you. I picked up another matte uh, shade in the color Pleasure. It's also a nude color. It's number 410. It's a little bit more um, taupey type nude or whatever. Maybe this is the peachy nude and that's a pink nude. But I got more of a taupey one and more of a pink one depending on what I wanted to wear. Um, I also picked up a couple of their liquid lip colors as well, liquid lip colors. Um, this is in the color Delight. It's number 01. Again, it's more of a peachy lip color, if you can see. Haven't really used it yet. Just looked at it. Also picked up a lip color. It's more pinky and it is in the color Enchanting, number 10. You guys can see it. So it's a little bit more pink. I don't know how well that's picking up. Um, I'm trying to hurry because I got to get out of here. And then also picked up a couple cheek colors. So I got the Baked Powder Blush in Rose Dioro. It's number two. And it isn't open yet, but it's kind of a coppery looking color. Rose, rosy copper. I thought that was different. And then the color Sunset. So anyway, that is that. And then in this little bag, they sent a free gift, which is another sample lip, uh, cheek color in the color Luminoso. And I already have that. So I'll probably just put that to the side or to give it away to somebody and then also a sample of their 10 in one volume mascara. So again, I never tried it, but I'll probably just keep it in here. That's a cute little bag and something cute little gift for somebody. So yeah, wanted to share those things with you and that's about it. So um, I'm probably not gonna take you guys along on my um, trip to the open house because those people aren't used to being on the camera so I don't want to be putting a camera in their face or anything like that um, so yeah I will check in with you all a little bit later what's up sun rays I am on my way to take cotton to the groomer I don't know if you can see him or not I might have to reposition this so you can see the passenger seat um, when I need you to but anyway, he's in here. There he is, trying to get over on my side. You stay in your seat. Um, so yeah, taking him to the groomer. Guys, forgive. I always say that forgive how I look, or whatever. You know, I'm gonna quit saying that because somebody said I don't need to keep saying that. So I, I'm gonna quit saying that. But basically, if you're wondering, this is a five-day-old wash and go that has not really been stretched today. I just pulled on it a little bit. It is a wash and go that I did with the gelato. I did not film it. I think I said in a previous clip, if it makes it into this vlog, 
Um, I think I showed my hair and everything and said, man, I wish I had filmed it. I did not film it, but this is fifth day hair. Still holding on quite well. Uh, still has a lot of definition, but it definitely has some frizz. I will tell you about the gelato. It does shrink up. So even though I may stretch it, once you get out into the humidity or whatever, if you have a little bit of humidity, uh, it may shrink up on you. So if you don't like that, you just be aware of that. I don't mind it, so that's why mine is a little bit bigger <clears throat> and a little bit shorter looking in the back or whatever. I don't mind that, so um, it is what it is. Uh, it's a nice day out today, finally a little bit cool. It's warming up though, the temperature now is 64, so that's not bad. It's sunny, so people are driving crazy. So if you hear like cars taking off real fast and motorcycles and stuff, that's the nature of it. I shouldn't be out too long. Like I said, taking him to the groomer may make one other stop while he's there. Um, but for the most part, I'm in the car and then I'm gonna go home that's the whole situation so I had the cleaners come and do a deep clean on my home because I'm having the open house for AJ and how many of you guys raise your hands because I know I am not that's real world track sit down I know I'm not the only one so how many of you when you have the cleaners coming to your home if you use like Molly Mays Mary Mays or something like that for a deep clean when you're having some type of special occasion how many of you clean first that would be me. My husband gets me all the time. Now, I don't clean uh, the deep clean stuff, but I spruce up. I put away our papers. I don't want them to see any type of, uh, you know, just clutter that they don't know what to do with. I get that out of the way so they can dust. So I don't like dust and vacuum and all that before they get there because that's what they're supposed to do. But as far as trying to decipher where our clutter goes, and trying to work around if a whole lot of stuff is on the counters that should be in the pantry instead of them having to lift it up and try to wipe off the counters and all that i put all that stuff away where it needs to be in the cabinets in the pantry whatever so they're able to wipe down the counters really good like they're supposed to that's the kind of cleaning that i do but he's like they do that they do that it's like no honey they're not here to they're not our maids they're just here to clean they're not maids that come that know us every day, know where our stuff go. They're not like our live-in housekeepers, basically. They're people who come to clean, so we need to get this stuff out of the way. And he says that because he doesn't really want to, you know, pick up or clean before they come. And neither does AJ, really, because I tell AJ, pick all your stuff up off the floor so they can vacuum. They shouldn't have to be trying to work around all of your junk, you know. I want them in here and out. But anyway, so that's funny. So basically, I did that before they came. So the house looked pretty good. They just basically had the dust, high, low, stuff that I don't do, baseboards, um, you know, window seals, stuff they get away from you as the seasons change and as you get busy and stuff. Nobody, if you cleaning your baseboards every freaking week when you clean your house, kudos to you because I know I don't do that I, I, I just don't so anyway so I had them doing all that making sure wasn't no spider webs high up and all that kind of stuff so that type of deep cleaning so they came and I wasn't there I had some appointments Adri was there working in the office and of course I said hey, honey do a walk through before they leave make sure everything is taken care of okay, okay. now of course he didn't do that so when I get home I look around to see if everything was done, I need to be done. Why do I see cobwebs on the light fixtures up high the chandelier? And I see, you know, where a couple baseboards had, you know, and I'm just like, uh-uh. So I started taking pictures and I contacted them and I said, no. I said, they need to come back. They did not do what I needed them to do. That's the stuff that I don't normally do. That's what I'm paying them for, you know. So they were like, we're sorry. They should have definitely, they didn't take the garbage out. It's like, are you serious? I come home in the bathroom, the trash in the bathroom. So I got trash in the, in the container, in the trash can. I'm like, now hold on now. Avery did say he asked him about that. He was like, um, don't y'all take out the trash? No, we don't do that. I said, that's a lie. I said, I used them in the past way before COVID. And I, I am sure that they took out the trash cans. I said, that's part of cleaning the bathroom. Why would you clean the bathroom and leave all the uh, 
tissue and stuff in the trash can. I said, that doesn't make any sense. So I called and of course they said, yes, we do do that. They should have known to do that. Uh, they need to tell you, you know, ask you where the other bags are so they could put it in the bag in, blah, 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 blah. So make a long story short, they came out yesterday, didn't do a good job. They coming back today to do it right. So I'm taking him to the groomer real quick and then I'm gonna rush back home um, that's why I can't stay out doing a whole lot of errands. I got to rush back home so I can be there when they get there so I can look over everything they do. And that's the thing. It's like, I don't like to watch them around the house. I want to let them do what they do without feeling like they're being micromanaged. But that's the problem that they try to get away with stuff because the house already looked neat because I had already spruced it up. So it's like, I saw a little bit of stuff on the counters that hadn't been wiped off, you know. And, um, you know, especially when the sunlight hits it. And I'm like, they didn't even wipe down the counters. Well, because I had taken everything off the counters. They're like, oh, these counters look clean. And they just going to bypass it. Mm -mm. Now, with these eagle eyes, now look, I know I talk about it, I can't see. But I know what I've cleaned and what I haven't cleaned. And I know I got people coming over for a freaking open house. And I want my house clean. You know, I'm going to sit up here and pay you all this money. And then you don't even clean because uh, you're going to use what I did and act like you did it. No, 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 no. So that kind of made me mad i sent pictures and everything so they're coming back out and the new person that they sent out is probably not the people that came yesterday so that new person is going to get the brunt of why these people didn't do what they did now i'm not going to go off on them or anything but i'm definitely going to make them you need to do that you need to do that you need to do that oh, you need to do that well don't don't say well that what no nope, you need to do that and everything and maybe they'll learn to uh train these people right you know and i normally give tips i don't know if my husband gave a tip or not i didn't even ask him but that's the thing it's like this makes you not want to give a tip it's like quit people listen they need to send out competent people that know how to clean and not because my husband said he talked to one of them and she said oh i'm 23 or something like that quit sending out these little young people that don't want to clean that don't like to clean they just got it you know what i'm saying it's like no or give them a certain job to do uh, look all you do is uh do the furniture or something you know vacuum they're supposed to vacuum the furniture and all that so i wasn't there so i really don't know if they did that because my furniture is not like real um, it's not really like real dusty cotton doesn't shed or anything so it's not like it's real linty and stuff like that where i can really tell if they uh, vacuumed it or whatever but girl anyway y'all get me but it's just funny because my husband was like you know we clean before they clean maybe if you didn't clean before they clean we could tell that they really cleaned the place <laughs> oh my goodness anyway but I know I ain't the only one uh, because us as women we want our stuff to look a certain way when people walk into our home you know so we kind of spruce up but anyway i just thought i'd tell y'all that story so that just throws off my schedule having to having to have them come back out i should charge them for that instead of uh them charging me now you didn't take up my time i'm supposed to be getting stuff done for this open house but anyway that is that so yeah just wanted to touch check in touch base with you guys let you know that it's trying to warm up here. It's trying to be pretty. I'm getting excited about the warm weather. I just hope it sticks because um, it fluctuates like crazy. Wanted to show you fifth day here in case you were interested in how the gelato held up. Not real shiny, but does have you know some shine to it. I am going to probably wash it. probably won't be able to wash it tomorrow it depends because i got um stanley steamer coming tomorrow to clean the carpets and i had already had them out that's just like a recurring you know thing but i'm gonna have them come out and clean the carpets and depending on what time they get there and what time they get you know they always give you a window so depending on what time they get there and what time they get done i might be able to wash my hair tomorrow but if not i'm gonna have to do it thursday and then thursday is when we're going to start uh, decorating for the open house because it's this weekend so my sister is going to come over thursday when she gets off work and work to help me start to kind of decorate and stuff like that um not really decorate but set up set up because we're not really doing the decorating we're doing a little bit of stuff but i do have somebody who is actually going to come right here saturday and decorate uh with balloons 
and all that type of stuff. Um, you know, where you can take pictures and all that. Um, so, yeah, that is it, guys. I told y'all I've just been busy and I just feel like I'm discombobulated. I feel like my best isn't being portrayed in my videos and stuff like that because I'm rushing to get content out so I can stay on schedule. I'm rushing to edit so I do the bare minimum in editing. I mean, stuff like that and I could tell in my stash videos and I could tell how my subscriber count kind of dropped um, and then at some one point kind of just stayed stagnant for a long time because normally it grows gradually every day it's growing a little bit this time it was dropping it I mean I, it dropped a lot like 200 and something in like a day or two days something like that and I'm like wow um, so I didn't know if something was going on or what but Anyway, we'll see. So hopefully I can get back on track, get back making the content that you guys want to see, making it where it keeps your interest. We'll see. And hopefully I can get back, you know, after he graduates, you know, I can get back um, on track. But yeah, it's just been hectic this senior year and especially toward the end. Track is still going on. Proms have gone on senior pictures, uh, you know, open houses, graduations getting ready to happen. He's going to start, you know, at Marion for um, football season. To, so, yeah, just trying to get it all together. But anyway, guys, I just appreciate you who have subscribed. I, I appreciate you as just viewers and um those of you who just take an interest in AJ and what he's doing and giving him well wishes and stuff like that, I do show him. He enjoys the um, comments and stuff like that. So I just appreciate the love that you guys show him and me and our family in general. So yeah, I just want to let you know that it does not go unnoticed. It is not unappreciated. It is very much appreciated. And yeah, without you guys, I wouldn't be able to keep doing what I'm doing. So anyway, I am about at the groomers. She's right at this corner. So I'll see if I can let you see him real quick. This little scruffy self. I think I showed y'all. No, that was his last grooming appointment. I was gonna say, I think I showed y'all a picture of him, but I didn't. So. And these glasses are getting on my nerves too. I'm gonna have to put my contacts back in because I feel like I'm just constantly cleaning these glasses from fingerprints, hair, uh, debris, wind, whatever. I just, rain, getting sprinkled. It's just like, oh my gosh, this is, a, this is for the birds. Okay, let me let y'all see him real quick. Here it kind of is. It is in this little chair up front. So I'm gonna take him in, get him uh, situated. So be back in the job. I did change this thing here to see if y'all can see both of us. So tell me if y'all like that angle better. Before it was kind of tilted toward me where you can only see me. But now you can kind of see my seat and um, the passenger seat. So if somebody else is sitting there and want to be on, they can be on. So yeah, tell me what y'all think about that. And we are gonna get on out of here. I tell you what, I don't like the way you have to back out of her driveway. It's kind of, it's weird. But anyway, we got out. So yeah, tell me what you think about this. Cotton, can you see? He's actually sitting down. When I when I want him to be seen, he, he sits down. When I don't want him to be seen, he's standing up. So he'll get up sooner or later. There he goes. Good boy, sit down. There you go. Get you some air. Okay, so I'm gonna head home, let the uh, cleaners do what they need to do, and um, then I think Avery is getting dressed, so we are going to 
go out and finish up some errands for um, the graduation party and everything on Saturday. So I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Um, let me know what your weekend, what you're doing this weekend. It is going to be actually Memorial Day weekend. I don't know when this will go up, so I doubt if it's going to go up uh, before this weekend. So. Um, the weekend, this week going, this week that I, that you're, that I'm vlogging this is going into Memorial Day weekend. So, let me know, um, what you guys did for Memorial Day. I'll put it that way. Let me know what y'all did for Memorial Day. Let me know if you cooked out or whatever. Like I said, we're doing an open house, which I didn't realize it was Memorial Day weekend when I scheduled it, but it was really still the only weekend that I could do it. Um, because AJ's other weekends are going to be taken up with um, college football, college football trainings. So I figured, you know, let me go ahead and do it, and people can kind of swing by in between, you know, cookouts or whatever. And because of that, we're probably not putting anything on the grill unless we run out of food. So many people come by because half the people didn't RSVP, so I don't know how many to really plan for. So if we end up needing more food, I might have AJ Avery fire up that grill and throw some hot dogs or something on the grill, make it real easy. So we'll see. But yeah, hopefully you guys will have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend and I will see you next time. There he is. Hey, Pooh. But I'm a introvert, so I'm very, you know, much a homebody. Um, so we're all kind of, kind of laid back and quiet, uh, quiet in that way at home. Besides laughing and acting silly, but you know how some people are just loud. You know, some people are just loud and obnoxious, and and got to be the life of a party, and just we're none of us are like that. So, um, so he takes on our personality. He's laid back, dog. He's a quiet dog. He's much does what we do. If we go out for a walk, we'll go out for a walk. If we take a nap, he's gonna take a nap. If we just up watching TV, he's up watching TV or playing with his toys or whatever. So just to let you know that if you are rambunctious and full of whatever, then your dog may be that way. So anyway, but um from what I know Havanese loves people they like to be around people. Um, but if you are gone a lot, you don't want to get a habit ease because they want the company of people. So, but he's very, like I said, quiet, laid back, don't bark a lot. He didn't tear up anything. He don't chew up a whole lot of stuff. Um, very easy to house train, house break. They love to please their owners, so I think I've said all this in a previous video. They love to please their owners, so um, they are easy to train, you know, sit, be, you know, that type of thing. So, at least he was. Uh, anyway, when I did the research, the research said they were supposed to be that way, so that's why I got them. Now, there's always exceptions to the rule, so we'll see. Um, Hold on. Sorry guys, husband called and interrupted us. I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, I'm mumbling. So, um, so any, oh, I know. So anyway, um, there's always exceptions to the rules, but for the most part, having these are supposed to be pretty good. Hyperallergenic, don't shed, stay small. Um, pretty calm so and loves people so what else can you ask for anyway and easy to train so anyway that's it
Avery Lamont Williams Jr. <laughs> Members of the class of 2022, please rise. To signify our step into the next chapter of our lives, please join us in moving our tassels from the right side to the left. <laughs> I can't believe I had this in the background. Okay. Just wanted to get on and do a really quick unboxing. I got some stuff in, wanted to share with you guys. Um, but before I get into that, I do want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who sent well wishes to AJ regarding his graduation and his open house. Um, we really do appreciate all the comments that you guys have put on the community tab as well as Instagram. Um, I'm not sure if I put anything out there on Facebook or not, but if I did, thank you. Um, and I tried to respond to all the comments that I could. So hopefully you did get a response. If you did not get an actual comment back hopefully i did see it and i gave you a heart because i was getting so many in and i was so busy with the open house and trying to deal with people here that i didn't have a lot of time to just sit down and and send comments back to everybody but i did try to give you a heart because i did want to let you know that i saw the comment and that i appreciate it so i do want to say that and i know it's been a while um uh since you guys have seen me on my youtube channel Probably not for a vlog, but probably I don't I don't think I got a video out on Wednesday or was it Sunday? One of the days I didn't get a video out. It could have been both days for all I know. I don't remember. I was so busy. But um I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So I just want to say thank you for giving me that time to spend with him and not really have to worry about um getting a video out to you guys. So uh, enough of that. Um, and for those of you who are wondering, yes, I'm having a time. I'm trying to keep it together. He is my one and only child. He is my baby, even though he's grown up. And um, I went through my little phase early on of, you know, trying to get through him being gone. Then I got used to the idea. And then with the whole open house again, it kind of set back in. But I think I'm okay again now. So once we have to pack him off and take him to college, that's going to be another story. So be praying for me. Okay, let me get some scissors so I can open these boxes. Okay, so yes, I did not need some of this stuff, but I got it anyway, and let me tell you why I got it. Okay, so when I was doing my stash videos, um, my very first stash video, part one, I showed you some Taylor Beauty items that I said I got in, hadn't used them for a long time. They were actually sent to me by Taylor Beauty, and it was um, their second line that had, not their original line, but the second one that had come out. And I believe it was like a repairing line or one with a whole lot of protein in it. And I tried it and it was just um, okay to me or whatever. But what 
I didn't try that I wanted to try so I can give it a go is their original line. So when I was doing that video, I was thinking, you know what? I really wanna try their original line because that is the line that I had, I had heard about. That is the line that everybody had raved about. Not really the one that I showed you. I hadn't seen a whole lot of reviews on the line that I showed you. So I wanted to pick up some things from their original line. So I did pick up the Moisturizing Coconut Cream Shampoo. And I actually picked up the coconut cream conditioner as well. And then I actually picked up the Perfect Coils Curling Jelly. Now I did have this, but remember I said I had uh, used this and um, I believe I used it when I thought I was using something else or whatever. Or I think that was the case. Um, I didn't remember a whole lot about it. So I wanted to pick it up again and give it a try because I think that I would have liked this. But anyway, I picked up another one, so I wanted to try it. So I wanted to try the shampoo and the conditioner and um, this jelly. So I picked those up and they were having a sale. So yeah, it looks like they were having a $10 sale. I got everything for basically $10 each, $9.99. So you guys let me know. I didn't think that that uh, was bad, especially when you're looking at 12 ounces of shampoo, 12 ounces of conditioner, and of course a eight ounce gel. Yeah, so I picked that up. Next thing I got is a package from Inasi, and they reached out, they were having um, their free product day for samples, free sample day. And I believe I put that on my community tag to let you guys know if you ever wanted to try a Nasi, that was the time to do it because they were giving away free samples. So because they were giving away free samples, I said, sure, go ahead and send me um, something. So I got the aloe and hibiscus leave-in and I believe I have tried this. I believe it was in my part four video, but it was just a little bit. So I do want, I wanted to revisit it and then I got the mango and papaya curl defining custard, which I had never tried. So I want to um, try these two and see how I like this custard. It is a natural styling gel. It's only two ounces, so hopefully it'll be enough for my hair. But I wanted to give that a try. So those are the two samples that I got, free samples that I got. So don't come for me. These were free. I wasn't going to pass up no free product. Um, Especially because I want to revisit Anasi. Anasi, I know I like their smoothing mint gentle shampoo. I remember really loving that shampoo. Um, and I believe I like the conditioner as well. Can't remember as much. I would have to go back and look at my video and kind of jog my memory, but it's been so long. So that's why I wanted to um, go and pick these things up to see how I liked a Nasi products. Guys, this next box I am excited about. It is from Nature's Little Secret. You guys know that I am an affiliate with Nature's Little Secret. And she had been talking about coming out with a gel and um, she ended up not being able to get some of the ingredients that she needed to make the gel to, to launch it um, last year or whatever. So, um, We've had to wait for it. Well, it came in and she sent me one or, yeah, she sent me one. One's better than none, I'm happy. Okay, so the box was just kind of big, so I thought, well, maybe there's another one in there. But it is the Okra Curl Defining Gel made with okra extract. So this is what it looks like, her standard packaging. She did say that let me make sure I tell this right so you guys know. She did say, okay, so she, this is what she said. She said it is a alcohol-free medium hold gel that delivers bouncy, juicy curls with popping definition. It has yummy ingredients like okra gel, marshmallow root, avocado oil. Ooh, I love some avocado oil and avocado butter and anything with avocado. It seems to work well for my hair. It said it's supposed to add shine and long lasting definition. Now, she did say on the label, it will say it contains aloe vera juice and agave nectar. 
and it does say aloe vera juice on here and it does say agave nectar on here she said but it does not contain those two it does contain a small amount of glycerin so on the jar it does not mention glycerin okay um, it said the corrected labels will be available very soon so refer to the website for correct ingredients okay so and then this will also be available in a 12 ounce jar by the end of june so that's going to be exciting so there um i guess the ingredients that she was trying to get she must not have been able to get so she wasn't able to put the aloe leaf juice and the agave nectar in here but it still has a lot of other good stuff it has okra extract in here marshmallow root extract um, avocado oil sesame seed oil and some other stuff so we're gonna see we're, we're gonna see i'm gonna try this like uh, uh oh can i get it open mm. oh there we go i do want to try it i haven't even tried her other gel yet and i still want to try it okay so that is the consistency of it if you can see can you see that so it's very i don't want to touch it too much see that consistency uh-oh uh-oh so you can see it's a very light creamy consistency so it is more like a creamy gel or custard it smells good consistency and it says it's for all hair types so we are going to see so let me go ahead and close that back up um I'm going to touch a little bit of it. I don't want it to go bad. So I'm going to have to break into that. And guys, my battery is running. My battery is running low. So I need to go ahead and keep it going. Okay. So the next thing. So that was from Nature's Little Secret. So be looking. Be on the lookout for a review on that harder holding gel. Um, next thing I picked up was a curl box. Because Curlbox was having a um, good deal on the Mish products. And I got, told you about that as well in the community tab. So you're getting five four ounce products. It's the original line for $35. So these products were $7 each. Cannot pass that up because Mish's products are like $15 to $20 and up. You're not going to get anything under $15 unless you're getting like a like a, a styling tool or satin cap or something like that maybe but what is in here of course is the moisturizing shampoo the lavish leave-in conditioner the indulge moisturizing deep conditioner the quenched hydrating twisting butter and also the strengthen um, deep conditioner so basically it is a whole wash day with her original line and you can't beat that with a stick getting all those products seven products for $35 when one product usually costs $20 so you do the math on that one uh, because I have some of this stuff these make great gifts so hey somebody might get this as a gift last but not least I got another curl box in and this one includes the curls sea moss collection so i was looking at this wasn't really interested in it too 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 much but then someone said oh you should do a comparison between this sea moss collection and i believe the um myel one and i didn't have either of them so i was like oh, probably not and then curl then the curl box came up out with this collection again five full-size products for I believe 25 or 35 dollars so they're either five dollars each or seven dollars each either way it's a good deal too because curls products again are a little bit higher um so you're looking at ten dollars fifteen dollars up for her products as well so in this one again it is the curl cream the cleanser which is the shampoo it also has a mousse in here and a uh, glow and grow conditioner as well as a curl slime which is i believe like a gel so 
Again, five products for, I'm gonna say $35. I don't remember exactly how much it was. It was either 25 or 35. I got the um, nine subscriptions, so most likely it was 35. And this was a new collection. So I figured, let me get it, pick it up, give it a try and do a review on it. If I decide not to, again, it makes a great gift. This is gift giving season. A lot of people are graduating from high school, from colleges, birthdays, weddings, all kind of stuff is going on where you can use nice gifts like this. I know a lot of people who are natural, so I wasn't too worried about, okay, I didn't need the product. So I know I got a lot of stuff, but again, when stuff costs $15 and you can get it for seven, that's more than half price, why not? So basically that is it for this unboxing or this haul. Um, and my battery's gonna run out, so I will catch you guys a little bit later.